Hey YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. Of all the sports fields to run onto, you would think football is one fans would want to rush the least. Today we're looking at the top 10 times fans ran onto the football field and how that turned out for them. Spoiler, it's never all that good or even worth it. Would you do it? What message would you be chanting as you ran onto a professional football field? Number 10, bottom of the pile. From the title, I assume you can imagine where this fan ended up after he made it onto the field. He probably expected to be run down by security, but not by the KC mascot itself. First, he takes a hit from two security guards after making a run onto the field, and then, to add insult to injury, the mascot does a belly flop onto the whole lot. Number 9. Why shouldn't you run onto the field? In case you're wondering why it's extremely dangerous to run onto the field, here's a prime example. This fan thought the middle of a play was a great time to just jump right over that barrier. Do you know how that ends? Let's take a look. Here's a fan running out onto the field. Oh, man. Wow. Yeah, that's what he deserves. Yeah. You come out on the field, you're lucky that this is as bad as it gets. Can't help but agree with the commentator who immediately says he deserves it. I mean, I hope he's okay, but also, if you can't take the shoulder, stay off the football field. Number 8. Not a small game. If you're going to be the guy who runs on the field, don't do it during an NFL Pro Bowl game. In fact, if you feel the urge, try going to your nephew's junior high game and do it there. This guy took action at the worst possible time and ticked off none other than Ezekiel Elliott, who seems to have not been too happy about it because once he got hold of him, he didn't let go and continued chasing him until he was escorted off the field. Hopefully, whatever fine he got was worth the story. Number 7. I told you he's a bad influence. Is this what one of these guys' mom said after seeing this? You just know that one had the idea and the other guy, a few beers in, was like, I'm game, fam. In fact, a beer can is seen flying onto the field as they run on. They made it in together, caused a ruckus, and were escorted off separately. Ah, brotherly love. Number 6. A run onto the field tutorial. This guy and his friend made the conscious decision not just to run onto the field, but also to record it and show just how easy it is. Granted, they weren't outright about it, pretending they were just fans coming to take their seats in the front. The plan looks hilarious, until of course the guy is taken down by an NFL cornerback and everyone cheers. Though they had seemed amused when he first got onto the field, the cheers we hear when he's tackled let us know the crowd was never on his side. <laughs> Number 5. An Insignificant Interruption What's worse, when a pro football player runs you down and tackles you because you're such a nuisance on the field, or when they don't care about you at all? This fan seems to have found the latter of the two during a 49ers and Rams game when he ran onto the field with the front of his shirt pulled over his head like a toddler, sleeves still on, just sprinting the football field. Players are just waiting, watching. One seems like he makes fun of the guy. But overall, the guy gets a lot of screen time before security takes him down. What makes it even better is the commentator. He's at the 50, the 40. In his chest, guy runs the opposite way. He runs at the 50, he runs at the 40. The guy is drunk, but there he goes. The 20, they're chasing him. They're not gonna get him. Leaving his arms, bare chested. Somebody stop oh, that guy. Yeah, Number four, big no-no. This fan did the biggest no-no of all time. 
He broke the unspoken agreement between players and fans that says one group touches the ball and the other does not, ever, for any reason. The guy runs onto the field during a Packers game and steals the ball from none other than football legend Brett Favre. He runs about 25 yards, slipping tackles, stiff-arming a security person, and finally gets sacked for a loss of about 20 yards. What makes me upset is that the commentators didn't give credit where credit is due. I mean, these two individuals just about double KO'd each other, and the guy slipped right through, like threading a needle. Someone get this guy a contract. Number three, don't bring in the band. One of the strangest things to ever happen during a football game came about during the time Stanford met Cal Berkeley. Berkeley is on their final play, trying to keep themselves alive with laterals and intentional fumbles when the band comes onto the field mid-play, thinking the game is over. Did that stop the football holder guy from scoring? Of course not. He's team touchdown, and he was the coolest guy in the bar that weekend in 1982. Number two, the best disguise. Okay, if you're going to run onto the field in disguise, the best one is probably a football uniform. The second best is, can you guess? A ref uniform, of course. This fan disguised himself as a ref at a Pac-12 conference game between UCLA and the University of Arizona. He blows his whistle and jogs into the middle of the field though the real referees didn't seem to think he was real. It's like dressing up as a deer and thinking a deer will probably think you're one of them. They will not. Referees possess that same intuition. It isn't until the ref begins to strip off his clothes that the other refs realize they've been pranked. Amazing creativity with this one, rather than the blatant running onto the field. Directly afterward, an entire fight broke out onto the field are on the field fighting and the benches are emptying. Mayhem is broken out here at the end of the first half. Number one, underpants man. My favorite part of this clip is the super young guy with the tripod at the end who is so excited and amused. What's he amused about? Well, the already shirtless guy took the Washington State touchdown as an opportunity to drop his pants on the field. I'm sure he wasn't trying to disrupt the game at all. He probably just really needed to give the boys some air. But hey, who am I to judge? Thanks for watching. I think if I'd try to run out on the field like that, everyone, fans and players alike, would all be exclaiming with bemused surprise, there's Jim from Top 10 Archive. Amazing. <clears throat> yeah, right, in my dreams, I know. Probably wouldn't make it to the sideline before being caught. Not to mention possibly not being able to leap the barrier from the stands to get there. What about you? Describe your dream about running onto the field and how that would look in the comments below. Be sure to scoot over and click the subscribe and notifications icons before you dart out onto the field or into traffic.